Okay, so we've been working with these things quite a lot, and what they are are parabolic cones. Now, the idea is the wind comes along, swirls around, and gets forced through that opening there, so it's really a wind capture device. Now, we know we're not uh, too far out of the ballpark because, of course, envelopes are using these, and our Ventum have just sold the whole pile to Skegness Council. So, we've got a, an idea that seems to be working, which is kind of cool, and we know we're not too mad as a hatter about it all, which would be even better. And of course, we've been using them for the Darwin wind turbine and for making Tesla turbines. But I get asked quite a lot about turbines for boats, because of course boats have their own specific peculiarities. I mean, having a huge turbine blade slashing through the air where you've got lots of rigging and seagulls is probably not the best idea. So what you want, I would imagine, is something relatively enclosed. And of course a wind capture device that will do that job seems ideal. So of course I came up with this. And I promptly printed off six of these and put them into a stack. Now, if you remember Dusan uh, K-Rex, he sent me the, this design for an impeller. I shrunk the impeller down, stuck it in the middle, made sure that that size matched that size, and then put a disc on it with a load of magnets on. This is what these indentations are for. Because the concept is that the wind will come along with the wind capture spiral be forced up through there and then up through the turbine and that will cause that disc to rotate once the disc rotates of course we've got moving magnets so we put a coil around there we've got ourselves a generator so that's the concept in basic but of course what we really need to do now is see if it works <laughs> look at that bad boy spin <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see this on so well on the camera, but that is hurtling around. Let me try it on this side and see if you can get a better view of this. <laughs> Okay, so that worked a treat, hey? Now, obviously, it's got this shield on the back, and that is to stop the wind blowing through. But this shield is free to rotate along those, so a fin on the back, and it would self-direct into the wind. It's a hell of a lot safer, eh? I mean, I know lots, lots of people don't particularly love seagulls, and if you don't love seagulls, I guess you could put razor blades on it if you wanted, but it is an awful lot safer. We don't really need the shield. We could actually put dividers in here, but it was much easier to put the shield on. Now, I don't know if you noticed, actually. It worked really well in that direction and in that direction. I didn't try it that direction. There's no reason it shouldn't do because it just directs the wind. So it's multi-directional. And although I'm thinking about it in terms of boats, you could put this on your roof line because this one isn't going to be proportional to the area of the turbine. And normally wind turbines, they, uh, the amount of energy they can put out is proportional to this swept area here, because that's the amount of air that's hitting it. Because with something like this, what we've got is this area here where the air is hitting, and so it's going to be proportional to that area. What that means is the more of these you put on, the stronger that's going to turn, which is pretty cool if you think about it. Of course, the design for this is in Tinkercad, and the uh, link for that is in the description below, so you can just um, jump over and pick up these files and give it a go, maybe change the size, maybe do a whole range of those. But that is a concept um, turbine for boats that looks like it's going to be pretty good. Anyway, I thought I would share it with you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.